I've been using Lineage OS on my Pocophone F1 for about a month now. And in this video, I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna review it a little bit differently because I'm gonna go over three things I like about it and then three things that I don't like about it. Hey, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use, things like cell phones, tablets, cameras, and drones. If you're new to my channel, think about subscribing. And if you're looking to buy a Pocophone F1, I have affiliate links to Amazon, Banggood, AliExpress, and Gearbest in the comment section, as well as the description down below. And it goes a really long way to supporting my channel. If you guys shop through those affiliate links, there's no extra cost to you. Okay, we are gonna jump down to the cell phone view so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. And let's go. So real quick, we're gonna start with the things that I like about the Lineage OS on the Pocophone F1. And the first one you will see is the customization. No app, uh, no app icon names. It's a super clean look. There's no text anywhere, none of that small text. Is this that big of a deal? No, is this a little piece of customization that I like? Yes. Uh, as you can also see, I have a Pocophone yellow theme in all my settings for all of the accent colors. And that is an option that we have here in Lineage OS uh, for the theming and for how stuff like looks and works. And you can choose any accent color that you want from this list here. Uh, we also have the automatic style, day or night, black mode, which is if you have a AMOLED display, it will go black. Uh, and overall, uh, we have the auto magic, which is kind of does everything automatically for you based on the sunset. And I, I like that uh, amount of customization that we have. The next one is the Google integration with like Google Assistant and Google Home. Something that I enjoy having all of that stuff with one swipe over the ability to uh, have my feed right there. I think that's really convenient. Um, so that's the second thing that I like about it uh, is the integration with Google services uh, in so far as just how everything kind of really flawlessly works um, and the ability to disable uh, applications. Uh, I've disabled the stock clock application, I've disabled the stock calendar application, and I am only using the Google ones. I know that people are, might be confused because this is a Google-based ROM, but the Google version is better than what comes stock on Lineage OS, I'll just say that. Uh, but all of the Google services and everything just works totally flawlessly, exactly how it should on the Pocophone F1. And that is nice. It's, yeah, I like that. Uh, the third and final thing that I like about running Lineage OS on the Pocophone F1 is the speed and the fluidity. And it runs great. It runs really, really lean. It runs really, really fast. I'm using Adobe Lightroom Mobile, which has a huge tax on the system in regards to pulling all of these images from the cloud. And outside of the images loading, which is based on my connection speed, super smooth, it's super fluid. Now let's talk about some things I don't like in Lineage OS. And the first one which drives me nuts is if you are multitasking, and your gestures are a little bit sloppy or they're not as precise, you will go into one-handed mode on the Pocophone F1 constantly. Uh, as you guys can see, just trying to change applications with you guys is a pain in the ass. I don't know if I'm supposed to be swiping up to do this. As you guys can see, Using the gestures, if you don't swipe up, you go into one-handed mode, and that, that drives me crazy. Uh, the second thing I don't like about it, 
and this is just more than the gestures. Um, the way multitasking is handled in this, I think is pretty bad. With MIUI, you have a tile and a list of stuff that you have, so you can see like four or five different open applications at one time. With this, you're lucky to see two or three. And it's just not as effective of a way to navigate the device. Uh, and it's, it's, it's kind of aggravating. Um, final thing, and this is gonna be different for everyone, is the camera. Uh, using Gcam on here is a great experience but it will not use the H.265 uh, encoding format uh, for files. Uh, it, does, it crashes it for video. Uh, the stock camera app does not have a manual camera mode available on it, so using it to take pictures uh, isn't really, for someone who's a professional photographer like myself, uh, it's not, that convenient to not have that manual picture, picture override for stuff. Um, so for me, those are some small things that I really don't like about Lineage OS, and it's actually enough of a problem of, or enough things that I don't like about Lineage OS that I would consider going back to stock. And if none of those things bother you and you want all this extra customization and you want to deal with flashing your phone and all the updates, uh, that is fine. Uh, go ahead. For me, I will take the extra battery life that I get from using MIUI on the Pocophone F1 over being able to change my accent color uh, any day. So this was just a brief video. Three things I like, three things I don't like. Boom, back up top, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video about the three things that I like about, the three things I don't like about it. If you have questions about it, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. Peace.